what is going on guys, Tango Fiar here and today I have a very very special video because I am coming to you live from the town of Cabo Rojo which is one of the most visited and most touristic places here in Puerto Rico and I am going to be showing you everything from where to go, the best beaches plus the best places for you to go have great food in just one town. And obviously our first stop has to be getting a little bit of breakfast and we went to Los Famositos Cafe and this local coffee shop had amazing coffee, beautiful and tasty breakfast and for very cheap too. So just a great way to start our day in Cabo Rojo. And right after that, we went to this beautiful and secluded beach called Playa Ostiones. If you want to take amazing pictures in a green lush environment and green emerald and honestly a little bit of crystal clear waters, you have to head out to Playa Ostiones. Very secluded, very private. Check it out. So we just have an amazing piragua. You have to make your stop here if you're coming to Cabo Rojo. This is the best piragua in Puerto Rico. He has been here a lot of years. So it's a must stop. I'm gonna be putting the location down in the description. This is vanilla cream and a little bit of raspberry here in Cabo Rojo, the Piragua. You gotta make that your obligatory stop here for refreshments. Hey guys, so here we are at the Cabo Rojo Salt Flats and as you can see, pink everywhere. And these salt flats get this pink hueish color because there's bacteria and brine shrimp it is. So the higher the concentration of shrimps, it's the pinker the water is gonna seem. This salt flats, they fill it up, leave it to the sun to evaporate the water and then they collect the salt for different pharmaceuticals and even the exportation of salt to different countries in Europe. The Cabo Rojo salt flats being a wildlife refugee, you gotta come here to connect with nature, see amazing birds and just have an amazing Instagram picture for your profile. After this amazing spot, we're gonna make our way to our next destination which is in the same road we're just gonna keep going straight for a few minutes and then we're gonna discover this place And here we are, we just made it to Faro Los Morillos in Cabo Rojo. This is the southern western most point of the island. This lighthouse served as a protection spot to the whole coast. But I'm gonna show you a little bit better. I'm gonna be throwing my camera super high in the air. You and And here we made it guys to this amazing beach right here it's a little bit of a secret spot right there you have the very 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 famous Cabo Rojo rock bridge which they close the path there's still people that walk over there and they don't mind but after some really bad earthquakes here in Puerto Rico they closed it off as you can see right there it looks the rocks like are really loose and really shaky so we don't want to lose this so please please if you come here do not cross it I'm showing you because you need to see this but please do not destroy our natural wonders and here we are guys in Boqueron in the heart of the party street here in Cabo Rojo you can find amazing food great places to have drinks like mojitos there's a specialty here and other than that you can find coffee shops surf shops everything you need to make this your perfect Cabo Rojo getaway in the island so you add a perfect beach good food great places to drink 
and just a perfect ambiance and you staying in the place perfect combination I am staying right there in Aguamare apartments which they treated me so good the view is amazing the room is amazing everything was great that's why you need to check them out the Airbnb link is gonna be down below there the official sponsors of our video today so thanks to them we're gonna bring you the best things you're gonna keep seeing here in Bucket On. So let's keep giving you a walk around this amazing town. And here we are guys in the most beautiful Muelle de la Libertad and this bridge right here is used by the local fishermen that actually you know they use this as a, their own dock but they decided to turn it into a touristic spot which actually was one of the most photographed spots in the whole Puerto Rico and here you can understand why to get into the flag you have to take your shoes off before you get here and then you make your way in the amazing Muelle de la Libertad this is a beautiful spot the best Instagram photo you're gonna find it right here in Boqueron Cabo Rojo and that's why I'm bringing you this guide so you can come to places like this that are so beautiful off the beaten path even on the other side of the island but you have to get on that car and you have to make that adventure so you can enjoy the fullest of this island so guys right now we're almost halfway through it if you want to smash destroy break that freaking like button do it down there do that little subscribing that little bang bing you gotta do it because we're bringing you the best from Puerto Rico, so stay tuned, we're gonna go to the next one. Once you make your way down the Carretera de Boquerón, you're gonna find the copy, and you're gonna try the best mojitos that I've tried here in Cabo Rojo, and some of the best in Puerto Rico, they won contests. They've won mojito contests. So I'm trying the coconut mojito, which you are seeing right now, how it's being made, and that's my recommendation. There's so many other flavors from natural fruits, going from passion fruit, strawberry, coconut, pineapple, mango, whatever you want, you're gonna have it, so go search the copy. Right now, what we're gonna eat are freshly caught oysters. As you can see, you can check out some of the kiosks that I'm here in Mesa de Tuba. They have shrimp salad, they have octopus, and they have conch shell so you gotta try it out I'm gonna try and you're gonna see me eat a little bit of this and look at that oh my god Gracias, this is what you gotta try when you come here to combate here we are we have a little bit of that conch shell what you're gonna want to do is you want to spray down with a little bit of lime a little dash of that hot sauce and then you Mm. Hit it like that. <laughs> that husses and the lemon just give us that kind of spiciness and punch you need. Wow, this is a delicatess in here. Pancho, lemon. We do it along with the lemon ones. And you eat it clean. That's how you do that. So now we're gonna go to the next location that you gotta try if you come here to Cabo Rojo to have the amazing time. So let's get it. So here we are in the entrance of Bouget Beach and you gotta come here very, very early. I paid parking around $5. It was way more comfortable than just trying to find parking around. Uh, after 10 a.m. this gets really packed. It's basically one of the most beautiful beaches on the island that you can go to and I'm gonna show you a little bit of why it's one of the most beautiful beaches in the island. after that probably like 15 minute hike it's very hot but we actually made it to the ruinas of Guaniquilla and the Guaniquilla Lagoon this is a very beautiful hike I really recommend to see these ruins and to see the natural beauty of the rock formations in this lagoon when it's very dry season you can actually walk your way over there to the rock formation 
but when the water is a little bit higher, they do kayak trips all along this beautiful coastline. So I was crazy to come here to La Republica de Sorongo because it's very creative Puerto Rican cuisine. So everything you're gonna find is Puerto Rican cuisine at its finest. And este trago, el bilongo. I was super eager to try it out. It's really refreshing. It has passion fruit, mango, orange, plus Don Culimon, which is a lemon rum from Puerto Rico. Now let's try it out. It's very, very refreshing. So let's try it out. Wow, super refreshing, very fresh. You get a clash of the flavors right there uh, between the orange and the mango and the uh, Don Cool Limon. And the, oh, very balanced, very good. For this heat, worth it. And now I'm gonna try the one with pernil, which is pork. Ooh, check this out. Fun thing about these empanadas actually is that they are dipped in bacalaitos mix and then they're fried. So the outer shell is super, super, super crunchy. Let me see if you can get it. Too much noise, but it tastes good. And with all that said and done, I want you to comment down below what was your favorite place here in Cabo Rojo. I want you to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you're loving this Puerto Rico content. If you have any other questions or whatever it is, links down below to my social media. And with that being said, Tongo Fiar, bye bye.